Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can't Fly. Woo, it's cold! Okay, so going to do a real quick flight. One of the things I want to do on this flight um, is I want to begin to start playing around with the instruments to see what this looks like when I'm doing a a GS approach. I mean, um, you know, um, an, an approach, um, GPS, um, that kind of stuff. So. I'm just gonna go to Wings. Wings has an, a GPS approach. Of course, I'm VFR, so I can't be flying instrument approaches yet. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the navigation aid just to see what it looks like if I have that, um, that code in there, what does it do? Um, and so I'm just curious, like how it lines up, and what I'm supposed to do, of course, I don't know. I haven't started studying yet, but you know, this is part of the the journey, the adventure. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get this plane started and uh, let's get on out of here and have some fun. All right. Good bro. Direct. Now, as you can see, as I fiddle with this uh, GPS unit in this aircraft, um, I'm trying to figure out how to set a GPS approach in this nav aid with um, the GPS approach at Wings Field. And, um, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to give it a shot just to try to dive into this IFR thing. That button is hard to turn. All right, I got that in. Now, here's what I want to do here, right? So, the calm, we've got doors. So, what is it? So, wait. Okay, and you can see I'm fiddling around, and no, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but, you know, like I said, a brother is experimenting. I'm giving it the old college try. All right, so let's just see if I go into airports I go into wings and then they have procedure going too far so now you can see I'm looking at this approach plate and so the question is <laughs> see so I need to study so this is what's kind of interesting is this approach plate right here I see all of this stuff and the altitudes and stuff but I don't I don't know I don't know what that is and then the unicom right okay so those are the things but what is there a so see so that's why I already don't know what I'm doing because I don't know how to like what to put in here and so that's that's what's kind of interesting already um, so anyway since I'm not gonna you know I don't want to waste too much time and I want to and I want to fly um, <laughs> I'm gonna forego that but as you can see I'm already confused about like what to do so you know whatever all right so I've got my frequencies in all right good all right all right so flaps are up got my radios tuned transponder is on and Gonna check the brakes. Brakes are good. Okay, so let's do this nav again. All right. So was I expecting to actually shoot a GPS approach? Mm, not necessarily, but I was hoping to at least be able to figure out how to get the frequency in the device to see what would happen. And as you can see, it was a bust. I'm really trying to be IFR minded, you know, looking at the approach plates, trying to figure out the frequencies and all of that kind of stuff. So, you know, just giving it to try, like I said. All right, flaps are up. Trip is set for takeoff. Wings traffic, zero two Fox Red Alpha, left crosswind, runway six, wings. Wings. And here we go, the first link in a chain of events that's about to play out. So, nothing is ever easy in aviation. Things always get interesting. All right, elevator trim is set for takeoff. 
Laps are up. Mixture is full rich. Carburetor is cold. Fuel valve is on both. Traffic series two Fox right alpha. Left downwind, runway six wings. Why am I getting wings? That should have been my clue that something was really off with the comms in this airplane. Georgetown traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, departing runway five, southwest departure, Doylestown. All right, so it's gonna be a crosswind. And I have to make sure I get that aileron into the wind. So aileron into the wind. All right, I see five, five, five. Everything looks good. All right, heels to the floor, full power. Engine instruments in the green, oil temp, oil pressure, suction, all look good. Airspeed is alive and rotate. Okay, so I really wanted to play around with the instruments like I was instrument rated or something. And um, I was looking forward to seeing the needles move and all this kind of stuff. But then it distracted me from something that should have been garnering more of my attention. Hmm. All right, I got that traffic in sight. Doyle Sound traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf. Got a left crosswind turn out to the southwest, Doyle Sound, last call. Wing shot, take one phone shot off, uh, turning final runway six wing. All right, I'm gonna climb up to 3,000. All right, let's cruise her out. Get our landing lights off. All right, so. Basically flying and um, just trying to get myself set up. And I was definitely going to try to do something with this GPS, but I just don't know how it works. And so one of the things I'm probably going to do to start off is I'm going to buy a book. All right, so if you look right out front, that's uh, Philadelphia downtown. So that's why I have to make sure that, I, um, that I'm cool with my altitude because I'd be entering into a class Doyle Sound traffic 574 is turning final runway 5 Doyle Sound. And as you can see, that got my attention because I thought I was on Doylestown frequency the whole time, but then I started hearing wings again. So I almost dialed in, but then you see I'm kind of looking at the frequencies and messing around a little bit, but I'm not as dialed in as I should be. Wings traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, about 10 miles north of the field, inbound for runway 24 Wings. Now in my mind, I've switched frequencies. I am now on Wings frequency. And like I said, I thought I was gonna try to see what was going on with the instrument to see what was up with this GPS approach. But uh, this was the first indication that something might have been going on. All right, so. Mixture's full rich, car P is on. Doyle Sound traffic, uh, 574 is clear, 5 Doyle Sound. Now wait, didn't I hit the frequency change button? So why am I still hearing Doyle's Town? Um, what? What's going on? All right, so I'm coming in, the wings, coming down to TPA. So seat right out front, that's Philadelphia. That's fine, Russ, but what's going on with the comms? What's going on? And I'm setting myself up for a nice straight in for wings. And I really am disappointed. Still the car, sure. Departing runway five, staying in the back of But I wasn't able to figure this out. Come on, Russ. Didn't you just hear that that was another call for Doylestown? That's a different frequency. Come on, Russ. Get your head in the game, brother. All right. Wings traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, about three mile final for runway 24, Wings. Yeah. 86 Golf, I think Wings is 1230. Okay, I thought I had it on that frequency. Let me switch it again. And there it is. Thank you for that call on the wrong frequency. Wings traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, about three mile final, runway 24, Wings. You're still on a 975. Wow, he's switching it. Okay, thank you. You got it, it's tricky. So you made me think and do, what's going on with you? Well, what I saw was one, two, three in my comms, but that's not what was transmitting. And if you can see, I'm coming up the wings there. I'm coming in on two, four. And as I'm looking out the front window, I don't know if you can see it, 
but there's actually a plane that's working the pattern, getting ready to depart runway six in the same direction that I am coming in. So at least I was aware enough to recognize that they can't hear me at wings and this person that's taken off on runway six does not know I'm coming in. So I immediately break off as you can see me turning and this whole thing is a bust. All right, so something's happening with the comms. I'm not able to switch frequencies. So I'm just gonna go on back. I was gonna land at wings, uh, but I don't know what's going on. So sound traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, about 10 miles south of the field, inbound for runway five, Doylestown. As I make my way back to Doylestown, I am very perplexed. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I heard wings at one point, but then I stopped hearing wings, but then I heard wings again, and then I stopped hearing wings. I mean, it was crazy. So, but once I realized that Doylestown was working and I was able to communicate, I was like, cool, let me just go back to Doylestown. And the thing was, I had to be able to communicate because there were a lot of planes flying around in Doylestown. So had my comms not been working there, that could have definitely been a little sporty. Go to sound traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, about five to the south, straight in for runway five. We'll be looking for traffic, Doyle Sound. And check this out. You can hear how the comms are bugging. Listen. Definitely crazy. And the thing that's tripped out is it was perfectly fine before I took off, or at least I thought so. Doylestown traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, about a four mile fine. I've got the Archer in sight. It'll be number two behind that aircraft, runway five, Doylestown. Doylestown traffic, Archer turning final, runway five, Doylestown. Don't get slow. All right, car heat. First notch of flaps. Doylestown traffic, Skyhawk 793, Sierra Papa is lining up, runway five, Doylestown. Doylestown traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, short final, runway five, Doylestown. Definitely wanted to let him know that I was coming in, didn't want any uh, issues, um, but you know, it was no problem, but <laughs> crazy flight. So 70 is good. All right, definitely not what I planned, but hey, you know, still a decent flight. So, all right, let's bring this baby on in. Music maestro. runway five door sound well that was a different flight um <laughs> so when things go wrong so i don't know so you're my witness i'm hitting this button it's going to one two three but it's not it wouldn't switch off of doylestown so that's why you heard them say you know i think you're still on doylestown well i kept hitting the switch you know to switch it from standby to in and um it wouldn't switch, so I don't know if it was something I was doing or something. But as you can see, I basically was like, you know what, abort. You know, this whole exercise to do GPS and figure it out, and I couldn't do that. And then this exercise to just land that wings, I couldn't because somebody was actually coming off a of six and I could see him. So it just wasn't safe. I know how to do comms, but for whatever reason, it wasn't working for me. And so rather to be unsafe, let me just go in and I'll just tell them, you know, I was having some issues with the comms. Maybe it's me. Um, but I'm definitely, you know, switching around. I'm going to come down here, get lined up. Anyway, you know, stuff didn't. <laughs> You've seen this time and time again. You know, that's one thing about flying. You've got to basically fly the plane. So I knew to get here, get on the ground, be safe, you know, not cause any problems. And so... That's, you know, what I decided to do. Um, and so all of my experimentation and that kind of stuff didn't work out. But, you know, hey, that's just how it goes. 
but not being able to switch the wings and all that kind of stuff that was going on and they couldn't hear me that was just kind of weird so i just kind of shut it down so at any rate uh thank you for flying this weird flight <laughs> one thing i'll say about aviation nothing ever goes completely as planned. There always seems to be something, and the one thing that I'm learning is to just be prepared for that and just figure out how to make good decisions, how to continue to be safe, um, and, you know, get back on the ground. Um, so that's pretty much it. So anyway, enough of my talking. Russ kid, Russ can fly. Uh, weird flight, but, you know, it was better than nothing. All right. Take care. Peace, y'all.